20 million women in the U.S. have been diagnosed with an eating disorder at some point in their life. And over half of teen girls use unhealthy means to control their weight. And 81% of 10-year-olds are afraid of becoming fat. We grow up in this toxic, shameful culture and thinking that we're never enough. I have always strove to be perfect in every way, shape, and form. Um, with dancing, with teaching my students, uh, in school, in my appearance, in everything, in everyday life. I did not want, I don't know, I just felt like a part of me was empty with just striving so much to just be perfect. The Insatiable Quest for Beauty exists to help young women learn that they are loved just as they are. And so we do that by starting conversations through inspirational and practical resources. So growing up, I never felt like I was good enough. And it was physically, I didn't think I looked the right way. I didn't think I was pretty enough, but it was in all parts of life, not just physically. I had to be perfect. I had to be spiritual enough and kind enough and smart enough and popular enough. And I never felt like I was. I never felt like I was good enough. I started struggling with an eating disorder. Um, I became an addiction to food, really. At first, it was an addiction to not eating for several years, and I became very unhealthily thin. And then it became an addiction to eating as much as I possibly could, and it felt like I was out of control, and there was a lot of shame associated with it. And I'd always try to do something to get rid of what I'd eaten later. And I hated myself for that. And in that moment, I realized, wow, am I killing myself by doing this? Am I killing myself for beauty? And is it even satisfying? Like, is it, what is it doing for me except making me feel absolutely miserable 100% of the time? And in that moment, I had this thought, like, maybe this is a quest for beauty that is destroying me. And so I decided I wanted to start sharing my story to see if that could maybe help other people figure out what their insatiable quest was and how to find something that actually would satisfy their hearts. So I started writing some books about this. I wrote a book, The Insatiable Quest for Beauty, and that shares my struggles with body image and an eating disorder, and it shares all the practical steps that helped me personally find freedom. I started speaking around the country over the last four years. I've been on the road seven months out of the year, and I've spoken in over 36 states. I know like me sharing my story, that in, in and of itself is not going to change somebody's life. But if they then have the courage to share their story that they thought had to be secret with somebody in their life who can walk that journey with them, that's when change happens. And that's what I want to do is to start those conversations. So we do that through my books, through speaking. We do it through my YouTube channel. That's really the newest part because that's really where teen and college age girls are at. A lot of them just enjoy sitting down, watching a video from the comfort of their home. It's five minutes. And so I'm trying to put out some really quality content, resources for them and things that can help them on their journey. I remember hearing from this girl in Denver who said, for years I've been struggling with self-injury and cutting and bulimia. And I read your book six months ago and since then I haven't purged and I haven't cut myself. And that was another moment that I was like, this is why I do this, you know? If I had never came into contact with Tiffany or the things that she teaches, I would still be doing everything in my power to make sure that every boy I walked past noticed me. Um, I would be doing everything that I could to make sure that I looked perfect. Uh, I would not be happy. I wouldn't know what God thought of me. Um, I would be very, a very, very upset person. <laughs> but no one would know because I'd be walking around and pretending to be perfect.